Monkeypox cases started to be detected worldwide in May in countries that do not generally see the virus. Last week, the Biden administration declared monkeypox a public health emergency that opened up federal funding for more vaccines and other resources to fight the virus. So far, more than 6,600 people have tested positive in the U.S., but because it's so hard to get tested, those numbers may be less than the actual number of infections. Here in Pima County, monkeypox is slightly up, but the chief of the county health department says it's still low risk to those who take precautions. Dr. Teresa Cullen says as of this morning, Pima County has six confirmed cases with a few other cases waiting for test results to come back in. Dr. Cullen says monkeypox is spread by intimate skin to skin contact with someone who has monkeypox. There is some risk of respiratory spread, but only through close contact over a span of several hours. Uh, we are recommending that people that may be at risk, they fall into those categories we talked about, examine their own skin once a day, twice a day to see if they can identify any lesions. Remember, monkeypox usually has lesions that put them at risk and then seek to be evaluated by a healthcare provider. Close to 400 people got monkeypox vaccinations at a Pima Health Department clinic on Saturday. Vaccine supplies are tight, but the county expects more later this month. Monkeypox was first identified in humans in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Since then, it has been reported in 11 African countries. The first outbreak outside of Africa was in 2003 here in the U.S. and was linked to contact with infected pet prairie dogs. 70 cases were reported in that outbreak. According to the World Health Organization, studies are underway to understand the source of current infections and transmission patterns. Joshua Moran says he's endured a lot of pain from monkeypox, but is slowly going away. He was covered in the monkeypox lesions that he said were itchy and painful. The symptoms began the day that he got vaccinated for the virus. He went to his primary care doctor for a checkup and she believed it might be syphilis, but the results confirmed that it was monkeypox, something that worried him because he's also a type one diabetic. I wanted to get the antivirals. You know, the infection down there, like it didn't look good. You know, as a diabetic, skin infections, they can, they can get bad. The antivirals are difficult to get a hold of and you have to take three a day. Pima County Health will host a public health discussion on monkeypox this Wednesday at 6 p.m. You're invited to register for the event and submit any questions you might have. We do have a link to that on our website, kagun9.com.